Hello everyone, today I'm talking about beta PDF exporter for Jira. Okay, now we are looking at beta PDF exporter for Jira and it's available for all systems on Atlassian Marketplace and it has tons of positive feedback, 374 reviews. At this moment, it looks crazy and already promising and they are cloud fortified, supports all deployment models. They are also SOC 2 compliant, which is pretty interesting and they provide European support time zones from pricing perspective i would say cloud up is relatively expensive if you look at the data center it looks also pretty expensive functionality wise sounds like you can export one issue you can export multiple issues you can export different reports you can do release notes which i like a lot and you also can do invoices and time sheets so as there are interesting use cases for example if you have release notes for your open source application or not where jira is public can easily export list of issues makes this pretty powerful on top of this and if you want to work with external companies you can generate pdf invoices based on issues and work items as well work logs and on top of this and it looks pretty powerful as well so let's give it a go and see how it looks so first when we start looks like we have and this get started page which at least helps us to understand that we can export different things issue we can export lists and so on then it has tons of views and templates for example release notes for this last version which is interesting so we have our templates here if you look for release notes okay here's the template and it's a in some markup language which is, looks pretty interesting and promising a bit complex so it will need some time to understand and to change as well and looks interesting then wow but this is this is kind of big drawback because they actually could have open sourced a template and shared with the products but actually copyrighted it which which is super strange and weird now let's give it a go so for example we have our apps Wow, this is a huge button. Well, like, I mean, it sounds like they assume that I will export to PDF files <laughs> every day. So for me, this is a very intrusive, huge drawback here that it's kind of in my face all the time. It's red and distracting. I don't want to see it every time here as big as this. This is also crazy. Like, and for me, I would put here potentially like the most used or the recently used a few like groupings and so on and not just spill for me and make Put, put decision to me as end user which one to select i don't know i will pick oh, let's pick the beautiful one please notes see how it looks with the uh, issues if it does anything because i actually don't know which one to start with even so i want a list of issues here i have barely notes let's look at this pdf file oh this watermark what a pain in one place <laughs> why would i have this trial things okay here are my issues which just looks cool so theoretically this also copyright is like mind-blowing i would say zap looks promising and powerful but the drawback is like it has a trial version for this so theoretically they want me to prevent using this application temporarily but i want and i want really like this as well so this is big drawback another big drawback it's tough to pick things now it's excel why do i see next okay now we can try to export an issue so as i see here this is a huge big button another click 10 actions so it's all in here let's click on the first section and see how it goes because at the end here we have our issue exported theoretically we can export it and share it with a third party if you want to and looks fine-ish except i hate this watermark I, I also hate that they put this link here why do i want to cross promote the application not nice as this dialogue doesn't close what is this some interesting things support information okay but overall for me this application i would put and it seems powerful so for this i would put it three but i wouldn't put four because it's everywhere in your face it's a bit unintuitive and complex in sense like tons of templates very complicated language a bit technical and so on watermark is like i don't know could have been more less intrusive i would say so overall looks powerful promising a bit expensive a bit not user friendly but overall pretty interesting and helpful and feel free to comment below if you want to understand oh, by the way don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you very much